Welcome back to the Beginning Crochet Series. You have now finished your half double crochet row, which is right here. I'm trying to get in the light better so you can see it without a glare. There you go. Kind of, sort of, ish. That's what they look like. So we're at the end of the row. So we're going to turn and we're going to learn the double crochet today. So you're going to yarn over from back to front and you're going to chain three. So there's one. My hands are sweaty. Sorry about that. There's two. And now there's three. And we are not going to count this one as a double crochet. Sometimes you do. But we're not going to. So you're going to yarn over from back to front. And you're going to insert it into this very first half double crochet through both top loops. See? Yarn over back to front. Pull the loop through. Yarn over back to front. Pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. And there you go. There's your double crochet. And see how it's a little bit taller than the half double crochets here. See that? And you are on the right side of the fabric, by the way. So we're going to yarn over. We're going from back to front. Put through the top two loops of the half double crochet. Yarn over back to front. Pull through the loop. Yarn over back to front. Pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And you're going to continue that all the way down. Make sure you always go through the, both of those two loops. You can see them on your hook there, right there like that. Yarn over back to front, pull through, yarn over back to front, pull through, yarn over back to front, pull through. And you're going to do that all the way down the row to the very end. And I am going to show you the very last row here, or very last stitch of the row, because I failed to do that on the other ones. So I'm going to do that this time. So bear with me. We'll just crochet along here together. I might be going a little bit faster than I was, so I will try to slow down here for you. Yarn over, put your, insert your hook through the two loops, yarn over, pull through, Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and that's a double crochet. See how pretty they are? I love double crochet. I think my favorite stitch, though, is the half double, because I could just whip right along on it, and I just, I like the looks of it myself, but we need to learn the double crochet as well, so that's what we're doing here. And now I'm going to be quiet. Let's see. Oh, I did hear from Lion Brand today regarding the Bellex yarn. And I have good news. They are willing to replace it. I don't know how thrilled I am about that. I'd rather have a refund for the entire order, but that's okay. I will take it and I will just find a different project to make with it other than the cozy cardigan cozy brunch cardigan that I had planned on, but um, I'll probably make a cowl or a scarf with it. Um, I'm not sure, but um, I was happy to hear from them so quickly with the holiday being involved there, and the fact that they are willing to make it right is super fabulous. So my faith is restored I and mean, they can't help the manufacturing of it, you know. I did send them a photo of it, and I also sent them a link to my video review, so they can actually get further information from that as well. Okay, let's see here. And yes, as you notice, I still have not charged up my video camera. I keep forgetting to do it. I'd like to do it when I'm home all day. In the last couple of days, I have been busy outside of the home. I've not had a chance to do it. I just have an issue with charging things other than my phone or my tablet when I'm away. I don't have an issue charging those. I don't know why, but I don't. But other electronics, I like to be home when they're charging. We're almost to the end here, folks, of, oops, of, of this row. And I want to show you that very last stitch. 
because I failed to do that on the other videos, and I apologize for that. I'm just trying to get down here so I can't really see that. I'm doing this through the um, my tablet camera viewer, so... Okay, I think we're at the end. Let me double check. Yes, okay, so here's our last stitch right here. So, and it just looks a little different, so I just wanted to show you that it is a stitch and it does need a double crochet in there. So, if you can, you can turn it and put your hook through, making sure you catch both of those loops. Yarn over, pull through, oops, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. Oh, oh, that was not the last. Okay, so this is actually the last stitch right here. Oh, come on, focus. Let me try this again. There we go. So this is the last stitch. Oh. This chain here is the last stitch. So we're going to... Oh. This is just not being very cooperative with me and focusing. I am so sorry, but you will see at the very top here. Ah, there we go. See this right here where my thumb is? You're going to put your hook right in there, catching both of those loops. Okay, there is one loop and there's the second loop. And you're going to yarn over from the back, pull through, yarn over from the back, pull through two, yarn over from the back, pull through the last two. And there is your beautiful double crochets. So there you go. Remember, chain three and then um, double crochet in that first stitch there. And all the way down to the end and go in through that loop right there. It can be a little tricky, so you might want to keep that last stitch of the chain um, a little bit looser so it's easier for you to get into it. But there is your double crochet. I hope you have a great day. And I will be back in a couple of days with another video. Okay, bye-bye.